Hi everyone, this is Arun Reddy here. Welcome to my YouTube channel Arun Reddy Tech for you. In this video, we are going to learn about indexing. So friends, if you are new to my video and if you want to learn DBMS, you can go through my channel playlist where you can find DBMS folder where remaining videos are available. And if you want uh, videos in Telugu, you will have an option also DBM is in Telugu. Okay. So in this folder, the videos are in Telugu. Okay. So and if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my videos. Coming to our topic indexing. Okay, what is what do you mean by indexing means indexing is used to quickly retrieve particular data from the database. So what we are saying, if you want to retrieve a data from a database quickly, then we use index. For example, suppose if you want to search something in the book, what you'll do? For example, you want a particular chapter. So what you'll do, you go on turn the papers if you don't have an index. Suppose if you have an index, then what you'll do, you'll directly, for example, you want chapter three, you'll directly jump to the 28 page. Right. From there, you start uh, accessing the papers or uh, uh, observing the papers. Right. So what happens index? What it is doing? It is saving your time. Right. Right. So formally, we can define index as a technique that use data structure to optimize the search time of a database query in the DBMS. In simple words, we can say that to save our time for searching. OK. So to save the search time, we use index. OK. For example, if we are using indexing, we can easily search the data in the database. Same like a book have an index, right? Same like book have an index. We have indexing which will help us to search the data files easily, right? So this is the actual concept of indexing. So let us move to the, um, what are the types of index we have, okay? So before that structure, okay? So we have, we have already seen structure contains two columns. One is search key and second one is data reference, right? So let us go in depth. What is the search uh, structure of index? Okay. So structure of index contains, so index usually contains two columns. Okay. So what are the two columns? They are key value pair, key value. So one contain, one column contains search key. Second one you contain data reference. Then what, now what is the search key and what is this data reference means? First search key. <clears throat> Search key contains copy of primary key or candidate key. That means it will have a key where we want whatever the data you want to search will be available. The key will be available in the search key okay, of a database table. Generally, we store the selected primary or candidate key in a stored manner so that we can reduce the overall query time and search time. Okay, So what we are saying in the search key, we will have a primary key or candidate key. Right. Generally primary key and candidate key are unique. Right. Right. So then what is data reference? So it, data reference contains set of pointers that hold the address of this block. Just like we have a page number in the uh, index in the book, uh, book index. Same way we have a address of a disk block. So automatically what happens? The pointer holds the address of a uh, disk block. So automatically whenever you, you, uh, you search with the search key, automatically it will go to the particular point. Okay, where the database is stored, right? So where the data is stored in the database. Okay, the pointer C disk block contains the actual data reference to the uh, to by the search key, right? Okay, so search key will help us to search and data reference will help us to point the address, right? So we'll see what are the types of index actually we have. So we have totally three types of index. Okay, primary index, cluster index and secondary index. So primary index are further divided into sparse and dense. Okay. So let us start first. Let us see overall first. Uh, what is the difference between primary cluster and second index? Then we will go with the uh, individually. Okay. So first primary index generally the key, the key in the primary index will be ordered and unique. Ordered means either it may be ascending or descending. Okay. And unique means see it will not repeat. One is not repeating. Two is not repeating. Right. But what happened in the cluster index? The order they are in the order. But see, they are in the order. First, after one, you have a two. After two, you have a three. But they are not unique. See, one, you can see it is repeating. Two, you can see it is repeating. Right? So they are not unique. They are in the order, but they are not in. But in the secondary index, they are in the unorder and unique. And sometimes they are in the unorder, but not unique. Both. Okay? So actually, the secondary index is especially they are not in a particular order. Okay? So they they sometimes may be order but not unique sometimes they are unordered and uh, unique sometimes they are unordered and not unique okay so especially secondary index are used for a huge data so when you want to search huge data then to reduce the time 
okay so we can use secondary index okay so let us go one by one first let me start with the primary index okay so if the index is created based on primary key of a table then it is known as primary index so what you are saying see a table has a primary index so sir primary key so if you use the same primary key as primary index then it is called as sorry if you are using same primary key as index then it is known as primary index right so primary key are unique to search uh, to each record and contains one to one relationship between the records of course one primary key will have one record right so one to one relation right so as primary key are stored in sorted order okay they perform search operation very quietly efficient so what you are saying the of course primary key generally what happens we will store in the order right ascending or descending order. so it will be easy for us to search next primary key index uh, so primary key index are classified into two types what are their dense and sparse what are their dense and sparse right so let us see what is this dense index and what is the sparse index okay so dense index contains index record for each search key value in a data file it makes search faster so what you are saying here dense index what it will do it contains each what you saying index record for search key value okay so one index sorry one record one index okay so every index will have a search key an index okay so in this number of records in the index table are same as the number of records in main table so what you are saying the main table how many rows will be there that many rows will be available in the index also right so it need more space to store index record itself the index record have search key and a pointer to actually record uh, this so i will show you example see see what is happening here see how many uh, index sorry how many rows we have in the index table four how many data or records we have four so every record will have a index what you are saying every record will have a index one to one one is to one right so what you are saying every record will have a index see the index record for every search key and uh, index see the number of records in index table is same to the number of records in main pointer so index table and main pointers will have a same number of rows right okay right so what happens here see if you have same record same index okay the same index as much as you have files for example every record you have index then automatically index size also increase then search time also will take more right so what we can do we can have a sparse index so what is now what is a sparse index sparse index in the data file index record appears only for a few in few items each item point to a block okay so what you are saying it uh, it will not have it will not have uh, one to one index but few index okay so in this instead of pointing each record in the main table index point to the record of the main table gap so i will show you in the example for example see for example first block contains three records okay so index we have one right second block contains three record third block contains three record so now if i want to search eighth record so roll number eighth record so what i will do first it will search one okay eight eight is it eight uh, uh, greater than one no sorry let us assume i am searching for a sixth record so six greater than one no right six greater than four no six greater than seven yes right sorry six is uh, less than seven yes so first uh, what it will do sorry okay so six is less than one no six is less than four no six is less than seven yes so what it will do it will go to the previous index now it, it will go into the four and from four it will start searching four five six now what happens suppose if i have to search ninth record what i used to do in the spa, uh, dense dense contains c what dense contains dense contains as many index as one as much as records right so I, for example i want to search ninth i want to search every uh, every index in the index table now what is happening see i will search first one fourth one seventh one right so i have searched three now i will directly go to the seventh so seventh after the eighth see so now i am searching four or five instead of eight records i am searching four or five right so this reduce the what you time and it will also reduce the index size see index size table also size also decrease right so now what is happening in the sparse index means it will not contains one is to one 
okay every index will not have a sorry every record will not have an index okay set of index will have a record sorry set of sorry set of uh, set of records will contain index okay set of records will contain one index right so by this what happens you can also save the time you doesn't need to search every index right okay now what is cluster then uh, a cluster index can be defined as order data file so it will have a order for that file but sometimes the index is created in non primary key which may not have unique value so what as just now we have discussed suppose when there is a uh, the there is data is in the order okay but what happens the numbers are not unique then we use uh, then we use cluster index in this case identify the record faster we will group two or more columns so when uh, primary key index uh, primary key let us assume uh, we are taking non primary key column okay which is not unique so we are trying to mix two or more columns so it will become unique right okay so unique value and create index of them okay this method is called clustering okay so records which are similar characters are grouped and index are created from this uh, uh, for this groups so what you are saying records which are similar they are group for example all male students all female students all commerce students all science students so they are grouped you can see here see here your uh, index is not unique so in cluster index as we said index are not unique but they are grouped because for example department 1 there are three people a b c department 2 there are three people d e f department sorry four d e f g department 3 2 so when you have a uh, group of people so when you want to group your index okay you want to group your index then we use cluster index and cluster index they are in order see one after the two after the three but they are not unique right now how this cluster will work means for example one will point to here and it will search all the uh, records in the first block two will point to here and it will search all the uh, all the names of a um department 2 but suppose if it is increase more than 3 records then what it will do it will assign the value in the next okay next bucket sorry next one and it will have a link see it will link so whenever you point to 2 automatically at the end it will go to this point right so next uh, suppose you have a 3 so it will start in the next so like this cluster index will work so cluster index uh, where data is grouped and uh, they are data is in order but they are not a uh, unique right next secondary index uh, then what is the secondary index when you have a huge data when you have a huge data in this situation you can use secondary index right so secondary index what you are saying in sec uh, secondary index to reduce the size of mapping another level of index so you will have another level already you have a primary now you will also add another one in the secondary index okay in this method huge range of columns is selected initially so that mapping size of first level becomes small so when you have a huge data for example instead of 100 records you have 10000 records in this situation of course when you have 100 record you can use primary index but when you have 10000 records what you will do you have to increase the level of index that's called secondary index right then the range each range is further divided into small so again what you will do now now you have a 10000 records you will do divide uh, the records into 1 1000 2000 5000 10000 like that. again the second level index will have for example 100 to 2000 2000 to 4000 like that again you will do subdivide right so that address switching is faster so it will be easy to uh, point out okay so mapping of second level and actually data sto store in secondary memory so what we are saying for example if i want to some data from the hard disk what i will do the primary way, uh, primary uh, memory will have a index right again that will point to the secondary memory in the secondary memory again i have a index so primary memory index is called as prime index okay secondary level in uh, sorry secondary memory index is called as secondary index okay i will show you a small example for example uh, i will I have taken a roll number suppose somebody is searching with the roll number it's okay but somebody is searching with the mobile then what happens see the data is unique but they are not in order right still they can easily uh, uh, point to the data or else okay or else suppose you have a huge data 
okay for example 100 from 100 to 200 how much gap is there how much gap you have 100 files for example you don't have a secondary index okay now secondary index is the extra one primary index is this so you don't have a secondary so what you'll do your 100 will point to here now from here you for example let us assume i have to search 121 record now from 100 you have to search 101 102 103 103 like this till 121 you have to means nearly 21 records you have to search suppose you have a secondary index now again the data is uh, roll numbers are divided into block c 100 to 110 110 to 120 120 to 130c now what happens i will first go to the 100 it will point to here again i will just search 110 120 see 1 2 3 4 now again 120 will show here next record is 121 so hardly 4 or 5 i have searched but if i don't have second level index i have to search 21 records right so that's the specialty of secondary in, uh, level index then you have a huge data so again your data uh, the primary index size will decrease secondary index again divide into blocks so it will easily fetch your address easily right right so once we'll see again the difference between a primary cluster and secondary okay primary index when you have an order and unique and remember in primary again two sparse and in uh, dense okay so dense will have equal how many records you will have that many index you will have okay sparse what you will have for a group for example one to five like just like class intervals uh, uh continuous class intervals okay one to five you have a one for six to ten you have a six like that okay cluster index what happens you will have a order one two three but not unique one will repeat two will repeat three will repeat secondary index when you have a huge data or you have an order or unique data or an order or not unique data then you will use secondary index right so friends i hope you have understood and uh, if you like my video please do subscribe and don't forget to like my video and please support me thank you